All right, let's update our teaser modes, which are actually not bad if you look at these two, but as you scroll down, our teaser modes get kind of bad. So this is easy to fix. Structure, content types. Let's start with events and let's manage the display for our events content type, clicking on teaser this time. Out of the box, Drupal gives us links and event description, which is the body field. Let's go ahead and update our teaser mode for this. Let's drag the event website to the top and put that in line. Let's drag our event date up as well. I think that's important. And let's grab the event logo and put it at the top as well. Once again, hiding the label. And let's change the format to a thumbnail. Again, image styles are something we're going to cover a little bit later. You can create image styles for any image on your site. Change the link image to content. That way the logo is a link straight into the content item and click update. So we have the logo, the website, and the date. Drag the links to the bottom. And we're going to discover a slight problem here. This is Drupal 8 RC3. The trimming doesn't work here in the event description, but we're going to update it anyway. Click the gear and change this to 400 characters. By the time you're doing this class, this should work, so we're not going to worry about it for now. Click Update. And so now our teaser mode should have the logo on the left, the website, the date, and the description on the right with the links. We might want to change this, but let's see how it looks for now. Click Save. Go back to the site. And you'll see that Drupal Camp Cincinnati indeed has been updated. Ah, we need to update the date field. That's all right. This is why you test. And you'll notice that, unfortunately, as I mentioned, the body is not being trimmed. So we might want to just get rid of that for now so as to fix our teaser mode. By the time you take this course, that should be fixed. Let's go ahead and delete it for now. So once again, content types and events, manage display and teaser. I like most of that, except I don't want time ago. I do want it to have a custom date. So you'll notice here there's a link to the PHP documentation for date formats. Let's update this to make this look a little cleaner. So I'm going to get rid of that. Lowercase l, comma, f, j, capital S, comma, y. This is going to translate out to the day of the week, comma, the day of the month, and then the st, nd, whatever the appropriate suffix is, comma, and the full four-digit year. Click Update, and you'll see there's a representation of that. So once again, just type that in and click Update. Click Save. So the last thing we want to do here is get rid of the event description simply because at this point it's not working. By the time you take this class, it probably will be, so you can leave it in there if you want. Go ahead and click Save. And let's go take a look at our site. And now our teaser for our event is the title, the logo, the website, and the event date. Looking a lot better, let's update the teaser mode for our user groups. Structure, content types, and user groups, manage display, and click on teaser. This one is a little bit different because we really don't have any images. I suppose we could have had a user group logo. Let's go ahead and put the group website at the top. Let's not have the user group description. And let's have the group contact email as well. Let's change the labels to inline on both of those. And here again, I like to keep it as plain text because I don't use my default email program. That drives me crazy. All right. So this is a pretty simple teaser mode. Click Save. Go back out to your site. And now the Cincinnati user group has a group website and 
the contact email with a read more. Congratulations, you've just updated the view modes for both the full content and the teaser mode. In the next section, we're going to dive into landing pages and getting your content back out in a really usable form.